What's going on everyone? I'm back here with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect your MacBook Pro running OS X Yosemite to an HDTV via HDMI. So uh, the model of MacBook Pro that I'm going to be using for this particular video is a late 2011 13 inch uh, and it is running OS X 10.10.2. So since this model does not have a built-in HDMI port um, you're going to need to purchase an HDMI adapter. Uh, for those that are using a Retina Display MacBook Pro, uh, those have a built-in HDMI port and you do not need to purchase this adapter. Uh, and the steps should be the same for both the non-Retina MacBook Pro and the Retina MacBook Pro. So, uh, for those it should all work just the same. So, but yes, uh, you do need this adapter and what it is, is, is a HDMI to mini display port adapter. Uh, you can pick it up basically anywhere from the Apple Store, Amazon.com, Best Buy. Uh, basically, you can find it in any um, major retailer. Um, but anyway, so that's that. And the next thing you need is a standard HDMI cable. So for those of you that will be using the MacBook Pro, uh, or basically any type of MacBook that does not have an HDMI port built in, uh, we're going to need to use this. So uh, what you're going to need to do first is plug in the uh, adapter into the mini display port on the side of your MacBook, like so. Uh, and do not plug in the HDMI cable just yet. Uh, we will do that in just a second. Uh, so uh, next up, what we need to do is head over to System Preferences on the computer. So I can open that up. And then once in System Preferences, click on Displays. And from here, you can configure all of these settings for the displays. So, the current window that is up or in uh, that is being shown is settings that you can configure for the built-in laptop display, uh, the one that we are looking at currently. Uh, so, the settings in here have nothing to do with your HDTV because you do not have it plugged in uh, as of yet. So, now that we are in the Displays tab under Settings, uh, what we can do now is plug in your HDMI cable into the adapter. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see the screen will uh, go black for just a, about a second uh, and then it'll come back. And then you'll see this second window up here and this is where you configure all of the settings for the TV. So uh, I'm gonna jump over to a screen recording and we'll see you guys in just a second. All right. Uh, so now we're on a screen recording here. So, uh, but yes, this is the uh, window that you'll configure all of these settings uh, correlating to your HDTV. Uh, and the model number should be on top. If the model number is different from your current TV that you've connected, uh, then you might have an issue. Uh, but the model number uh, that I currently have is M321i-A2, and that is correct for my particular TV. Um, the one I'm using is a Vizio Smart TV. Uh, for those wondering, uh, just in case if you have the same, uh, it will work. So, but anyway, uh, once the TV has been recognized and is all good, under the Display tab, you can optimize the screen for either the TV or the built-in laptop display. But, of course, in this case, we want to optimize for the TV. And as for the resolution, uh, that is totally up to you. Uh, you can change it depending on your preferences. Uh, but I would highly recommend setting the resolution to the type of resolution that your TV is capable of outputting. So my particular TV is capable of 1080p, so that's what I'm going to, of course, click. But if your TV is only supporting 720p, then you will want to click 720p as your option. <coughs> um, but yeah, so... Uh, next, you can adjust the rotation uh, depending on, again, your preferences, but I would highly recommend staying on standard. Uh, that is just kind of just the default and is best for most displays. Uh, refresh rate, um, this is depending <coughs> excuse me, on your TV's capabilities. Um, you can select 60 hertz as your option if your TV supports it, uh, but if it if your TV only supports a lower hertz, uh, you will need to select the corresponding uh, option. Uh, but for this particular TV, uh, it is 60 hertz, so that's what I'm going to select. 
Um, and then under scan, basically what this does is it will adjust the screen size on the HDTV. So if you have it off, it will be full screen on the TV. And if you slide it all the way to more, uh, it will basically, um, s basically squeeze the screen and make it more compact, I guess. Uh, you, you basically get less on the screen at one time, so I recommend keeping under scan off. Uh, but again, it is highly uh, dependent on what type of HDTV you have, so you may have to adjust this course uh, accordingly to adjust for your particular HDTV. Uh, so once you've configured all that, we can move on to arrangement, and this is where you will adjust how the display is positioned. So uh, you can either do mirror displays, or you can turn that off and then adjust the placement of this. A display wherever you want in this white space um, but I would recommend uh, keeping mirror displays on um, that's my preference but you may want to turn it off if you want to do that yourself um, but that's where you could do that and I would just rather keep it on myself um, then once you've configured that uh, you can go to color and this is basically where you'll adjust the kind of the color of the display um, this should be set automatically, and you should not have to mess with any of the settings in here. Um, I really wouldn't recommend adjusting settings in here unless you really, really have to, uh, because there could be something that could really be messed up. So I would just leave this alone um, and just leave it uh, as automatic and whatever it has selected. Uh, and then you have options of open profile, which once again, once again, you should not have to mess with that. And then calibrate. Basically, if you need to, you can go, go ahead and calibrate your display if you have color issues or syncing issues. Uh, this should fix that issue if you need to do that. So, there's that. Now, basically, that is it. Um, all the settings should be configured to your particular HDTV, and it should be ready to be um, set up on your uh, TV. So... I'm going to go back to the camera, and uh, actually, I missed something here. So, before we go to the camera, I missed one uh, aspect here. So, you want to go back to the main uh, system preferences menu, uh, and you have to configure sound. I, you need to configure this if you want to output sound to your HGTV. So, Basically, under the output tab, you want to select in your TV model, uh, and then you type is HDMI, and then input, of course, is your microphone. Um, but yes, uh, if it is on internal speakers, you will not get any audio out of the TV. So you want to make sure you hit the model of the TV to output sound. Uh, so that's basically it there. So now I'm going to go over to back to the camera and show you guys what it looks like on the TV. So. I'll see you guys in just a second. All right. Um, now, as you can see, uh, the TV is now being mirrored to the MacBook Pro. So, as you can see here, uh, the uh, desktop is on the television or the TV. And as you can move over here, it is also being displayed on the MacBook Pro as well. So, uh, if you did everything correctly, uh, this is what you should see. Uh, on your setup. So basically if you select mirror displays you should see your desktop on both your computer as well as the TV. So, but if you did not choose to, new, to do mirror displays uh, your TV will look slightly different uh, depending on uh, where you positioned the whole display back and when we were configuring the settings. But anyway, that's that. And sound should also be configured as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do a test of that real quick. And I'm going to play uh, a YouTube video real quick. Just to do a check to make sure uh, that the sound it has been configured correctly. Let's just go ahead and load up YouTube real quick. Alright. And uh, let's click on say that video there and I've got some not the fastest internet unfortunately so it might take a little bit of time okay 
Let's turn the volume up. And there you go. As you can see, sound is now coming through the TV. So, there we go. Uh, everything seems to be working perfectly fine. Um, but yes, if you guys do have any problems or if you guys need help, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to it as soon as I can and try to help you guys the best as I can and everything like that. Uh, so basically that is it for this video. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down there. Also hit that like button. It's also much appreciated. And that's basically it. I hope you guys have enjoyed once again and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.